and we are back. Pokemon Omega Ruby Hardcore Nuzlocke, the run continues. We have found ourselves at the eighth and final gym, focusing mainly on water type Pokemon. And it looks like Wallace has five Pokemon. And we've done two Emerald runs where he has been the final champion. So it's really fun to have him be the final gym leader now and then Steven to be the champion. I think that'll be a really nice change of pace. As far as the team goes, I'm uh, going to op open with Shoyo, the mine in, um, quickly becoming a fan favorite. And Roserade is specifically here for the Wizcash, but can also do major damage to the rest of the team. Uh, and then we have our usual suspects here in the back as well. Um, and I do believe this is almost exactly what my Elite Four team is going to look like. I have really considered bringing Little Mind in here to the Elite Four. I think that would be such an underdog story and a really great plot line. Um, but I have to go back to the drawing boards because if I lose the Elite Four because I didn't swap Shoyo out, I'm going to really beat myself up. So we will have to see what happens there. But for right here, right now, we are good to go. Everyone's got berries or items. Um, battle animations are on and Wallace is ready to go. So we got six Pokemon. He's got five. Um, he does have Love Disc, so it kind of is four Pokemon. He also has Seeking, so you can argue he's only got three Pokemon. But um, yeah, we'll we'll see what's going on here. All right, Love Disc comes down to open up here, and if he did not have Wizcash, I think I would just do a nasty plot and get two procs on my special attack, but since he's probably just going to pivot into Wizcash after this, I was going to say I was going to discharge, but actually, so maybe we can do a big brain play here. So if we discharge and one-shot the Love Disc, then he's just going to throw out the Wizcash, and we can't hit the Wizcash. So we'd have to switch to Roserade, and then Roserade would have to tank an Earthquake. And I think that's fine, but if we Volt Switch, and that one-shots the Love Disc, maybe he throws out the Wizcash anyway, and then we throw out the Roserade for free. So that's what I'm going to do, and I want to see if this actually outsmarts Wallace, or if he will just throw out another Water-type Pokemon. So the Love Disc faints, but then we go back with the Volt Switch. So does that change Wallace's train of thought or does everything just stay the same? Is he just going to throw out the Wizcash? Either way, we're throwing out Roserade, but I'm just very curious because if he doesn't pivot straight to the Wizcash, ooh, now we have a Milotic and... <laughs> Wait a second. Actually, now I don't even know if this is good because I really wanted the Roserade against the Wizcash and the Milotic or Melodic, however you want to say it has Ice Beam, <laughs> and if Roserade goes down, um, then Wizcash is going to be a lot tougher to deal with. But we're here in this moment, and we are going for it. And we actually go first, so we don't get the heal back, but we do do massive damage on the Giga Drain. Can we survive the Ice Beam is the question. And the answer is yes, because Roserade is an absolute legend. Wallace is going to use the Hyper Potion on his ace. Milotic is very cool. Gets healed all the way back, but the fact that Roserade is faster, I was looking at the stats, and when you went from Rosalia to Roserade, it is just an insane increase, especially with the special attack and special defense, and even the speed stat goes up. So that Shiny Stone evolution is incredible. All of that being said, three Giga Drains, and we are making strides right now. There goes the ace. Milotic is down, and that probably means he's just going to be holding on to the Wizcash until the very end, hoping that he can get rid of Violet Evergarden before she gets rid of his team, and I am completely wrong. He just throws out the Derpy Fish and says, please, have a buffet, <laughs> and that is exactly what's going to happen, unless Wizcash has Sturdy, which it does not. I didn't know if it did or not. <laughs> So there goes the derpiest fish of them all. And um, now this is just a free feed for Roserade, this big chubby walrus. And it's not even the walrine. The Giga Drain comes down and it is enough to one shot the CeeLo. That poor blubbery friend is gone. And that only leaves the Sea King just a, oh, just an ugly kind of goldfish just probably not a goldfish uh probably a koi fish or something 
an ugly fish comes down and I do believe I click Giga Drain one more time and Wallace is completely gone. The melodic, the mylotic was the only just chance of hope for him and it just went up in smoke. Absolutely. Wow. There goes Wallace and um, Roserade. Absolutely phenomenal Pokemon. Um, grass types are very tough to use since they're usually really weak and have a lot of weaknesses, but Roserade is definitely one of the best, best grass types there. So really enjoyed that. And that only leaves Victory Road and the Elite Four. So I am super excited to dive right in. The team is almost together. I might pull a little sneaky strategy and add one or two. And I need to make sure I'm ready for the Wally fight. The last time I played Emerald, I completely forgot he pops up in Victory Road. And um, my Gyarados died because of it. So definitely going to make sure I take the proper precautions this time around. And... Um, yeah, I think we'll be good to go. So as always, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. And I will catch you on the flip. Peace.